What's up, everybody? JC here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2019 Panini Prism Football Hobby 2-box tiered random teams number one just sold out. So we're tiering some teams, randomized list customer names, and these teams tiered. So it's basically three random teams, but we tiered them up so that way each spot is a good value with rookies, vets, and nice autographs. And again, uh, random.org is still a little acting up. We did pay for the service. We're just waiting for it to update in an hour or so. So we're still going to stick with Psychic Science. And again, like I've been saying in every video, works just like random.org. It's just you can't see how many times I've randomized it, so you have to just listen to the sound of my voice and my clicks. So let's randomize it. Let's roll a physical die for now. Physical dice. Oh. There you go. You got one and a six for seven times. And here you go, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Aaron, down to Aaron. All right, seven times now here on the tier teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Redskins, Rams, Bucks, down to the Cardinals, Falcons, Dolphins. So Aaron, you have the Redskins, Rams, Bucks, Justin with Patriots, Steelers, Lions, Pedro, you have the Broncos, Bengals, Colts, Brian with Giants, Browns, and Texans, Renee with Raiders, Bills, Vikings, Matthew with Cowboys, Chiefs, Panthers, Saints. Steven with Jaguars, Eagles, Bears, Jets. Um, Seahawks with Titans, Packers. Damon with 49ers, Ravens, Chargers. And Aaron, you have the Cardinals, Falcons, and Dolphins. What are you talking about, Logan? Deshaun Watson? You meant to say Deshaun Jackson? What about him? No, Logan. I don't know if you heard what exactly I said, but I said Deshaun Jackson is a number one receiver, but is much older now. And again, when we drafted him, and on people's big boards, he wasn't going to be a number one receiver. More of a slot, deep threat. I'm meaning we need to have a receiver like a Julio Jones, like a DeAndre Hopkins. Like, you know, that number, number one receiver. You know, I don't think we've had one since T.O., where he just completely took over. Just everywhere. Now, I'm not saying Deshaun Jackson's going to do that. I love Deshaun Jackson, but he's much older now. And again, we only got him for a handful of seasons because, you know, of the controversy and he left. But I mean, like a big, big, big target receiver. Westbrook. I mean, I love, I love, I love Brian Westbrook. Dude was a beast. Very, very underrated for sure, coming out of college. But he was a good receiver for them too. But I don't know. I really think the Eagles got to just get a big receiver like that. Compliment Wentz, and also just Miles Sanders gonna take over next year. I was just looking at his stats again in depth. His stats were just crazy this past year. And only was like a starter and played in like maybe 13, 14 games. All right. Kenton wants Tua. I don't think Tyrod Taylor is a bad quarterback at all. I think definitely he's a good quarterback to have a bridge with, right? Where if, if you're not, if the guy that you want is not available in the draft or you're not too confident. Grab other pieces like linemen and things you need and stick with a quarterback like Tyrod. And again, you still have stick, and I'm not saying stick is going to be the future, but sometimes you just need a quarterback just enough, right? If you have the weapons and players around the team. You know? And it's like it's just like with the Eagles. You know, obviously that, that year they won the Super Bowl. Again, if it wasn't for Carson Wentz, they wouldn't have had a first-round bye. You know, they wouldn't have made the playoffs. But Nick Foles was able to run that system just enough and had some playoff magic in him 
with the Eagles' complete defense and team around them where that's all you needed, right? You don't really need to have a full, like, Drew Brees, Tom Brady on your team. You know, you just need to have enough around them. Because as you can see, Foles does playoff magic. Season-wise, he hasn't done so well, and he's been very unlucky, which sucks, but it's true. All right, I'm just going to draw a line through these. And there's 12 options. This is a two-box break, so for this time, just because we don't have round hour working, let's roll. You guys can see that, right? Can't even see the mountain of boxes. Five, two, for seven. Now let's switch scenes. All right, one through twelve. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and we'll generate two numbers, right? Because it's two box break? Yeah. Roll it seven times. Five and a two. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3 and 7. So again, if we're going to look at it this way 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven. So this is going to be box seven. One, two, three. This will be box three. Well, I don't think you know the whole story, Logan. I think you should get your facts straight. And that was not the reason why. Had nothing to do with talent and being good. He was just going through some stuff. He needed a fresh start. remember Jeremy Macklin. He was awesome. He was another receiver that we drafted for uh, number one in 2009, I think it was. Yeah, because they got Macklin in nine, and they got Deshaun, LaShawn McCoy in the second round in 2009. Macklin was a beast, too. 
he had like that really good couple seasons towards ACL, signed a one year deal with us, had like 14, 1500 yards receiving. Didn't want to resign with us, went to Andy Reid with Kansas City, a couple years there, went to the Ravens. You know, but he retired a little young, but I think he was just done with football. Good for him. Dexter Lawrence to one ninety nine. DeAndre Hopkins to one seventy five. Yeah, just to show you guys here, guys. Your tier teams. Ed Reed to ninety nine. Miles Garrett and Michael Vick edition. Falcons. Riley Ridley to one ninety nine. Dwayne Haskins. Haskins, sorry. And Darnell Savage Jr. Green Bay Packers. With that one. I don't know, man. I would. I think Michael Vick definitely changed the NH, uh, NF, NHL, NFL, and you know went through some stuff. Was once the most dangerous player on the field. Went to jail and found his way back to being one of the most dangerous player on the field. But I think his his story is just a little different, and I don't know if the Hall of Fame voters will think of it that way. But he did revolutionize the quarterback position. That's for sure. 175, just like Lamar Jackson is, you know, now with his speed. But I think he definitely has the talent to be a Hall of Famer for sure. Numbers, I would say yes too because for most of his career he did produce. But it's just tough. And I agree with Sean. It's just kind of kind of tough. You know what I mean? It's just, you have to just, it's always going to be on the back of people's minds for people that know. You know, Caden Smith. But if he does get in in the future, that's awesome, man. I hope so. Redemption. Jerry Judy or CD Lamb? Let me get one of those two receivers. Oh, CD Lamb, man. I love him. Out of 249, Rocky Sin. Miko Harmon Jr. There you go. And Daniel Jones. Rookie autographs, Prism Red Wave. 322. Gardner Minchu. Very nice. Who has Jaguars? Steven Green. There you go. Jacksonville. Minshew Mania. Next box.
Yeah, definitely. I feel that too, DFS. And he did. But, you know, it's, it's still always going to be in people's minds, though, no matter what. But, you know, he did do the time. Came back. Established himself as a, one of the best quarterbacks, one of the most dangerous players in the NFL. And, you know, did pay his dues and, you know, gave back a lot to a lot of organizations with his money that he got in his second contract. And try to make amends as much as possible, you know. Obviously, you're never going to forget what happened, but thing is what you do after it all. Debo Samuel to 189. But yeah, for sure. Definitely everybody deserves a second shot. Out of 175. Yeah, if he makes the Hall of Fame, I'd have no problem with it, for sure. Chris Jones. Deontay Thompson. Cardinals. Alshon Jeffrey. And Bryce Love to 49. Ooh, that's a nice looking card right there. Redskins. Aaron with that one. Oh, of course, Sean. I feel you, man. I, I try to not remember what that would look like. Definitely. That's the one thing I like about sports is that celebrities, it, it, it could just foreshadow a lot of things that people do. Right? You kind of just forget a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's right. He did do that. And then you're just like, oh, well, you know. But for some people, definitely. It definitely just sticks with you forever. 299 Nick Chubb. Darius Slayton. Ricky Seals Jones. Drew Locke. And McKinley. And there you go, guys. That was the two box hobby tiered break. Some nice stuff. I love, I forget the prism color in football. So beautiful. Um, Minshew Redemption. Miko Harmon Jr. Couple of nice autographs and nice color as always. Number two should be in the store. Let's get it going. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.